Hi, welcome back. It's such a pleasure to be with you today. This is Dr. Richard Herbold, and we're talking a little bit today about neck pain. So neck pain is a common phenomenon. My background as a chiropractor of 35 years certainly brought me into the arena of talking to people about postural and mechanical issues. The practice I have now certainly addresses mechanical issues, but I tend not to be that postural guy talking about neck and back pain, as, as the, although it's certainly part of my practice. The approach that I take now in dealing with uh, problems is much more comprehensive than just a mechanical approach. And yet chiropractic as a tool is a wonderful, wonderful advantage. The credentials I have currently to bring that a little bit further as a chiropractic neurologist is really looking at functional neurology. So when we look at functional medicine, which is a buzzword you might have heard of before, there's allopathic medicine, which is the straight drug-related, surgical-related interventions, and then there's functional medicine, which is looking more at the primary cause from a lifestyle intervention and then shifting that. So when I talk about neck pain, especially now in my career, I'm always talking beyond orthopedics of the physiology of pain and inflammation. So right now we're going to cover neck from a dynamics and from a postural perspective, but just know the approach that I take in my practice <laughs> in any type of an inflammatory pain-related disease or condition is always multi-focal of looking at the causative agents beyond just the mechanics. So time and age changes everything. So osteoarthritis, which is a degenerative process that happens with time and age, actually starts pretty early, especially if you have an injury. So the body's response to an injury is to wall off that area and to protect the area in a mechanical perspective or, or affecting the mechanical system, let's say the neck itself, let's say you had a fracture, an injury, or even a sprain strain, is the body brings calcium to the area, not unlike patching a hole in the wall. So the joint compound that a uh, contractor will use to wall off that area to smooth it out is not that dissimilar from calcium which deposits in tissues. So if you don't have a, a, a fracture or an injury of that nature, but you have what's called a soft tissue injury, especially in the neck, the calcification infiltrates not necessarily the bone itself to repair it and fuse it, but it infiltrates the surrounding areas themselves, the synovium, the covering of the joint, the ligaments, the tendons, the soft tissue, the muscles, and what happens with time and age, that over an extended period of time, 20, 30, 40 years, becomes more hardened and more rigid, so flexibility becomes impaired. So when you talk about neck pain in particular, there's always a postural component. So as I sit here in my big green office chair, I notice I'm probably not as posturally erect as I should be. So talking about neck pain always should be talking about posture. So when we talk about efficiency of any structure in the body itself, the center of the ear, should be over the center of the shoulders, center of the hips, so I'm sitting now, so it's not over my knees and ankles, but standing, the hips should be over the center of the knees and ankles. So there's postural fulcrums that affect us. Our head is a 10 to 15 pound bowling ball that sits on top of a little stick. That's called our cervical spine. So our cervical spine, which is a group of bones, having seven bones sitting on top of, uh, underneath our little pineapple or our head or a bowling ball, in fact have uh, discs in between. And discs are shock absorbers. And out between the vertebrae come the nerves themselves. So in our neck we have a lordosis and then we have a kyphosis in our mid-back and then we have a lordosis. These are what we call primary curves. So our neck bends kind of forward and our mid-back bends kind of back and our low back bends kind of forward. So we have kind of an S-shaped curve. Some people have hyperlordotic situations where they have too much of a curve. Some people have hypolordosis, which is a posture of straightening of the curve itself. And a lot of that has to do with tension of muscles and tendons and ligaments. So when you understand the complications of how this should work to begin with, the, the miracle of life is that it ever happens correctly to begin with. Now, once you compromise this, whether it be through posture, whether it be through injury, whether it be through inflammation and trauma, all of those effective changes effectively changes how the long-term changes occur in our postural segments. 
So osteoarthritis, which is a progressive condition of age and time, is something that ultimately with trauma and injury that will occur. So it's important if you do have an injury to address it early on and let it, instead of letting it wait and fester. So exercising, rehabilitating, mobilizing, doing all those things are critical. The approach that I take in my office is combining lots and lots of tools and interventions at the same time. So I hope that's helpful in preframing neck pain or talking a little bit about neck pain. I'm going to follow this up in another video talking a little bit about interventions. So I hope this was helpful. This is Dr. Richard Herbal coming to you today, and it's as always a pleasure. Thanks for spending time.